Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geekilm in Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create picker views with web views. So in the simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have a web view located at the top and at the bottom our picker view. And when we select one of our websites, our picker view loads that website into our web view and so on and so on. So just have a little demonstration here. So our website. It's taking a bit of a while to load due to my internet connection. There's the website and load Twitter. And so on and so on. So I'll be showing you how to create that today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Pick a View with Web Views for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is create the um, outlets for our picker view, our web view, our activity indicator and um, retain the outlet. So what we would need to do is go to our view controller.h and just have to do your view controller through space and a curly bracket and press enter and we'll do IB outlet space UI picker view space asterisk and I'll simply name it picker and that array semicolon and then we need to create our ns array space asterisk and I'll simply name it picker data and that array semicolon now I'll create the outlet for our activity indicator which will be displaying well kind of like acting like a loading bar for our website so we will create that now. So IB outlet space UI activity indicator. Oh. Space asterisk and I'll simply name it activity indicator, kind of short for yeah, activity indicator kind of thing. And then we enter our we need to add our NS timer for the um, activity indicator. And I'll simply name that timer, nice and simple. And then finally we need to add the outlet for our UI web view space asterisk and I'll simply name that web view in that with a semicolon. Now we've done that, we need to um, retain our outlet for our picker, picker data and our web view. So I do at property space asterisk um, bracket sorry retain comma uh, non atomic and in that with a bracket. And then what I'll do now, I'll just copy and paste this. So we have three all together. So that enables us to quickly again copy and paste the um, picker, our outlet for our picker, our NS array of picker data and then finally our web view. Once you've done that we can simply save it and then jump straight to our view controller.m whereas now we've retained them we need to synthesize them. So in the property here so we did our picker, picker data, our picker, oh sorry, comma picker and then comma and then finally our web view and that array semicolon and then now in the view did load we need to create the NS array for all four of our social networks for our YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and our website so we do capital NS array space asterisk array space bracket bracket NS array space alloc and after the first bracket here we do init with objects and then we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in between the quotation marks we will simply name our first um, um, selection our first uh, bar to select which will be our YouTube one and then after the um, comma we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and again a comma and then this one will be our Twitter and repeat the process 
until we have four all together and then our third one will be our Facebook and the fourth one will be the website and that with a bracket and a semicolon then we do self dot picker data space equals space array and have a semicolon and then once we've done that we have a uh, red flashy error here so let's have a look what's going on here see what we've missed out, ah do you I think it's the bracket here ah there we go we missed out the uh, equal sign there sorry so then once we've done that we can now start adding the uh, in the view did load for our web view to come or to load the first selection of our picker already which is our web view so we do bracket web view space load request and in the highlighted section here we do bracket nsurl space request or oh, nsurl sorry uh, nsurl request sorry space request with ur and then we do bracket nsurl re um nsurl sorry space url with string and then the highlight I can do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and that way two brackets and a semicolon or three brackets sorry and then we do just need to change now within the um to uh, quotation marks will be the name of the URL we want to load, which in our case, or well, my case, is the um, YouTube, so www.youtube.com forward slash geeky lemon. So, just only because when we um, load up the app, um, YouTube will already be selected within the um, pick of view. So, if we just get the web view to load up to YouTube straight away, it makes it look more like fluid and convenient. So once the uh, it's loaded up and the web view loads up with our YouTube, we're going to want the um, active indicator to start spinning to obviously tell us that the web view is loading something, kind of like our little loading bar. So what we do is uh, web view, space, add sub view. In this space here we do activity indicator kind of thing with our little abbreviation of it. And that with a bracket and a semicolon, enter, and then we do timer space equals space bracket ns timer space scheduled timer with time interval. And we need the one with the user info and the repeats, which is the bottom one here. First highlight section we'll do simply bracket uh, 1.0 forward slash 2.0 kind of like working on the speed the uh, target will be self the selector will be at selector in the highlight section we'll put loading in the uh, user ID we put nil and in the repeats we put yes as you want it to keep repeating so we end that with a semicolon and now what we do now is create our void for our loading in our selector. So we do dash bracket void bracket and we named it loading space bracket enter. So what we need to do our if statement. So basically so do exclamation mark web view dot loading. So basically if the web view's um loading well, we'll stop loading kind of thing in a sense we need to um, get the activity indicator to stop animating else if it's loading obviously we need it to start animating kind of a uh, simple there get rid of the um, oh sorry let's get rid of the brackets there and there sorry we don't need them so else bracket activity indicator start animating bracket and that with a semicolon and then once we've done that we just jump down to the bottom here 
where we need to start adding our ns integra. So we do dash bracket ns integra bracket, and then we do number of components. In picker view, colon bracket UI picker view space asterisk bracket picker view space curly bracket and press enter and we do return expression one and that base semicolon and then we need to do the NS integral for picker view to a uh, number of rows in component so again we just uh, copy and paste that line there throw it down there and then after the uh, UI picker view get rid of the um, of components so we need to in here we put picker view then after this picker view here we're doing number of um, rows in component and let's get rid of the return here with the one so we need to do return bracket picker data space count and that would bracket semicolon and then after that we need to dash bracket create the ns string make sure we got the uh, asterisk within our ns string here and we do picker view. Oh, get rid of the capital, sorry. And then we do colon bracket UI picker view bracket picker view space. And then we need to title for row space bracket and then press enter. Now we need to do return in the expression. We do bracket self dot picker data space object at index, and that will be row. And have a bracket and a semicolon. Now we have a little error here. Let me just um, quickly look where we've gone wrong. Oh, there we go, we missed out the um, asterisk within our picker view bracket there. Now, once we've done that, after our sh um, string there, we need to create the um, actions for when we select one of the um, outlets in our picker view. So, to do that, we do dash bracket void bracket picker view bracket UI picker view space asterisk bracket. Pick a view space did select row component space bracket and enter. Now we need to create the int space select space equals row and that array semicolon. Now our if statement so if select equals equals zero so if that equals zero which is our first one let's scroll down so you can see a little bit more in our statement here we need the web view so if I just quickly copy and paste our current web view loading up here so if the, our first one is selected it's going to load our YouTube up and then else if in the expression here so else if uh, select equals equals one. We are going to have it space bracket enter. We're going to have this our second one, which is going to load our Twitter. So we have our Twitter load up instead of our YouTube for our second one. For slash uh, you can do it, which is correct. The same again. So select equals equals two bracket enter paste that in and our third one is our Facebook 
So I'll just type in the Facebook URL, which is Geek Game Development. Oh, development. And finally, the fourth one. So out if select space equals equals three space bracket enter. And this will finally load up our website. So put the dot in there and that dot come. And then once we've done that, it's all the code that's needed. So basically what's going to happen now, a quick overview of the uh, whole code, what's going on, even though it took us a bit long to get through it. So when the um, app loads up, it's going to load up the uh, four outlet or action you know, outlets into our picker view and because the first one's already selected on YouTube, our YouTube is going to load up in, within our web view and the activity indicator is going to start spinning around just to tell us that's something going on. And then once we select any one of the um, rows in our picker view and it will load the selected URL within our web view. So once you've done that, you can save it, jump into our viewcontroller.xib where we'll now just simply find our web view. Now we're going to want to pull it so far up, um, put in our picker view there, make the web view come down a bit. Now we need to find our activity indicator and place that over our web view. <clears throat> and I'm simply going to change the colour of our picker here. I'll change to red so it's easier to see. So when we link up our connections now, the activity indicator to the activity indicator, picker to the picker, web view to the web view, control click or right click the picker view to go to files owner, select data source and again for delegate. Now click on your picker view, I mean um, activity indicator sorry, and make sure you select hides when stopped so it disappears when it's not being spinning and the web view make sure you scale to fit the pages. So now if we jump onto our iPhone simulator, and there we go. So now once it loads, our picker view starts spinning round and loads up our YouTube, which we told to load up in the first place because it's our first selected. We go to our Twitter. Activity indicator is still spinning round, tells us you know something's happening, the page is loading. Now once it's finished loading, it disappears as you can see. And our finally our, um, or thirdly our Facebook. Pick it, um, active in scare, do what it's got to do. There's our Facebook there, and then finally the website. Let's wait for that to fully load up, and there you go. So that's simply how you create a picker view linked to websites to select any kind of website throughout the picker view. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the minute. If you haven't, make sure you favourite and like the video, as it really does help us out, gain us a wider audience. And if you, most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you go check out all our apps, which are currently on the App Store, just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And for now, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.